3D printing is everywhere, from 3D printed houses to 3D printed rocket engines and even 3D printed firearms. In November 2020, Calgary Police Service investigators became aware of a person believed to be involved in the trafficking of firearms within Calgary. Police said they became aware of this after officers learned the suspect had recently purchased a 3D printer and believed the suspect was using the printer to manufacture firearms. Recently, there was a spike in 3D printer usage and drop in price of 3D printers. So it became easily available to everyone, which enabled new type of crimes. One of them is 3D printed firearms. 3D printed firearms do not currently work as well as traditional guns. However, there have been rapid improvements in the reliability of 3D printed firearms, and they are becoming less prone to malfunction. 3D printed guns pose a significant threat to community safety. These weapons are potentially available to people who aren't licensed to own a firearm. What's more, these weapons are made mostly from plastics, which means they aren't detectable with metal detectors. Such firearms can bypass traditional security screening measures, presenting serious risks in aviation, public events and locations where security screening is in place. Police might have seized one or two a year when they first started tracking it in 2020. They are up to around 15 so far this year, so that increase has gone from about 1% up to 9% of all crime guns seized in the city. The guns can go for between $2,000 and $5,000 on the black market, and each takes about 30 to 40 hours to print. Additional parts that are required, such as triggers and barrels, can be purchased at any gun store. Hash values might be used to eradicate digital design files from the internet. Hash values are codes associated with images and files, sometimes referred to as photo DNA. This could be used to restrict access to 3D weapon digital design files. One innovative approach would be to require 3D printers sold to recognize digital design files for 3D printed firearms. This is turn could prevent printing in such cases. There are serious concerns about the ease of availability of digital design files for printing firearms. Restricting the capacity to manufacture firearms is our best defense to ensure our safety. This is about illegal manufacturing of weapons. But what about legally manufactured but still lethal weapons? We are applying 3D printing technologies on aircraft on a large scale at an engineering level, and we are in a world-leading position, Dr. Lai Xiaodan, a member of the Liu Yang Youth Commando at Shenyang Aircraft Company's Craft Research Institute, told China Central Television. This is partially due to a growing demand for planes that has seen traditional manufacturing reach a ceiling in 2013. These new and advanced 3D printing techniques are now enabling the production of new planes with high structural strength, long service life, low cost of production, and fast manufacturing. Conventional manufacturing methods have many drawbacks including the need to use rivets or welding to connect parts together. However, since 3D printing builds an integrated part, the resulting structure benefits from higher structural strength and longer service life. In addition, no extra materials are wasted in the 3D printing process, making for lighter parts which reduce an airplane's overall weight, allowing it to fly further and perform better. 3D printing is also very speedy allowing parts to be quickly manufactured and making logistics support simpler and more affordable. 3D printing is becoming extremely popular in aircraft manufacturing with users of the technology, not only including the Shenyang Aircraft Company, but also other Chinese aircraft makers. Although this may seem like a revolution for the 3D printing industry, it should be noted that other airplane manufacturers have made use of it before. 3D printing is entering field that no one thought of. Today, 3D printing technology using heat-resistant metal alloys, is revolutionizing trial and error rocket development. Whole structures that would have previously required hundreds of distinct components can now be printed in a matter of days. Virtually all new rocket companies and space startups are adopting 3D metal printing technology. It accelerates their development phase, helping them survive the crucial years before they manage to get anything into space. Of note are Rocket Lab, which uses its 3D printed engine to launch rockets from New Zealand and Relativity Space which is 3D printing its entire rocket. In the UK, there's Skyrora and Orbex. 3D printing houses also started to become reality. Dubai has the world's largest 3D printed building. The 3D printed office building was an engineering feat, using only three workers and one printer. The city plans to have one quarter of all buildings built with 3D printing by 2030. This is a 3D printer by Mamaki, which prints unbelievably accurate colored 3D objects. It's the new step towards bright future of 3D printing. 
So what are your thoughts? Do you think advantages outweighs disadvantages? Let me know in the comment section. Leave like and share if you found it helpful. Thank you.